to sticky toffee pudding. Did you know that beer is the secret ingredient to making dishes extra tasty? Kristen Pritchard, he shows us how to think outside the bottle and incorporate beer into our food. Good to see you, Kristen. It's great to be here, Dina. You know what? And who doesn't love beer? Come on. Hashtag nom nom beer. Come nom, on. It's, or, or, it's the <laughs> hashtag nom nom beer. Instead Let's of, get it out there instead now. Instead of guzzle guzzle beer, nom nom beer. Exactly. Okay. I'm, that, that's all we need to know. So, you're ready to cook with Eat it? Eat your beer, yes. We'll grill with it, we'll cook with it, we'll drink it. Well, we won't drink it. I wish. Maybe later. We'll Hashtag see. Hashtag okay. nom nom beer. Exactly. I love it. So, what we've got, first of all, we've got a curry potato salad, all right? Mm. And we have the potatoes off the grill, the peppers off the grill, but you want a dressing. So, have you ever had a grapefruit rattler? Absolutely not. Oh, it's great. It's acidic. It's delicious. But we've mixed it with okay. some curry, some birch syrup from the Yukon, and we're going to mix it up quickly. Put it in here now. I is always it, uh, is it fizzy? Yeah, it's okay. a beer, but it's light. It's a very light in alcohol, but it's really delicious. And it's you know what? People go crazy. Mm, Doesn't it smell like great? Grapefruit. Now yeah. stand back because I always oh. get in trouble with spilling stuff on you. Clothing sponsors hate me when I come in here. There we go. That's so are you ready for a little salad? salad? And that's all you really have to do. We'll serve it up. And imagine this with some of the pork and things we're serving. Up. Recipes on pork? our website. Exactly. Now. Come on, I gotta do something for my Italian friend Dina, grazie, right? Grazie. You're welcome. Grazie mille. We, what we got is a Papa El Pomodoro with Peroni beer inside of it. No way. Why not, right? So inside you put? Some Peroni beer, we've got some onions, and then we've got lots of tomatoes, which are roasted on the barbecue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open it up with some herbs, then put in your leftover bread. Made a salad. Hard bread, hard bread. Exactly, some basilico, right? Huge and, in Tuscany, by the way. They use the day old or two day old or three day old bread. Why not? And this is all they do. They use everything, right? Yeah. So there, we'll serve it right up. Are you ready for something great. like that? And you know what? The roasting on the barbecue just makes it incredible. And I can't see why the Tuscans wouldn't do that either. How long on the barbecue? And do you put it in foil? Or yeah, absolutely. Just... Get okay. it nice and nice and hot. Really, really good. So and how long would you say? 25 minutes, depending on the size of the tomatoes. If they're larger, a little longer. Spin it around like yeah, a big potato? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, it's great stuff. Now, you know what? And speaking, I'm, I'm teaching with Massimo at the Toronto Festival of Beer. Massimo Capra. He actually let me teach with him. It's like I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm getting emotional. Hold on a <laughs> He's second. He's your idol. He is my idol. He's great. We said we have the same hair. I don't know. It's all good. <laughs> now, we're gonna also, one of the things I think I might make there is a mojito pork chop. Mm. Mojito, right? So, you know, if you can't have enough mojitos just to drink, why not put it in your pork as well, right? With beer. With beer. Absolutely. We'll have like a Bud Light lime. Throw it in there. Marinate it. Delicious, right? Okay. A little citrus. Exactly. Now we get along to one of my favorite things. You know, English ancestry, who doesn't love bangers and mash? Right. right? So we've got mash that I, it was inspired by my buddy Ted Reader, and you have the, uh, the uh, plank. Barbecue. You put the, the potato right on the plank. It's absolutely incredible. Like a cedar plank? Exactly. So after you've mashed it, you then put it on the barbecue. Wicked alongside Jen the bangers and mash. Jen has done live eyes with him, and he's always so big into the planks for everything he does to the, infuse flavor. The dude has 50 barbecues in I his know. backyard, Dina. So He's there we cool. go. Some onion gravy, which we've roasted those onions as well. Come on, how Party wicked is that? And delicious. Chives, there you go. Boom, dessert lovely. Dessert with beer. Dessert with beer. Are you ready for some dessert with beer? I sure am. It's Are one of my ready? favorite desserts, by the way. How about a double chocolate stout sticky, sticky toffee, toffee pudding? pudding. Now hashtag I need you. Hashtag nom nom, nom beer. beer. So <laughs> here we go. Stab that for me. I don't want to, maybe let's not use a better term. Just poke it. Just stab poke it. it. Give poke it some it. love. Give it some, exactly. some oxygenated There holes. you go. There like you go. Like a sponge. Like a now, sponge. Double chocolate stout in there, but we'll also put the double chocolate stout butter and caramel right on top. You don't we'll even put know it what back this in smells the like, guys. You don't it even know. It smells delicious. It'll Heaven. leak all in there. You'll put it back in the barbecue. You'll hand it out to all your friends. How do you come up so with this fun. stuff? You know, I just hang out. I just think I sit in the backyard and gnome gnome and think it's done. Speaking of, yeah. so at the end of July, there is a beer festival happening. You You're going to be there? That's right. Banshell Park, CNE, July 24th, 25th, 26th. You're nowhere if you're not there. So you drink the beer, you eat these eats, you give demonstrations? Absolutely. I'll be in the grilling tent with all those great chefs Massimo, Ted Reeder, Matt Basili, Matt oh. Dean Pettit. Come on, you want to be there. All the superstars. Thank you so much. ChrisCooking.com, beerfestival.ca, and follow him. Him on Twitter at Chris Cooking, but only if you use the hashtag nom nom, nom beer. beer. Kev, over to you.